if you want to discourage them from using this digital stuff, digital, I mean, phone, it is called, let's call it as digital detox. Whether it is video or TV or the phone or computers. Make them conduct two experiments. Make, you work with children and then you do have your schools later on. Conduct these experiments in each class every month or every other month. And this experiment will be take four petri dish or two saucers, same style, put same amount of water and put uh, one teaspoon or two teaspoon full of mung dal, you know mung dal? So you allow them to sprout. So one petri dish or the saucer, you keep it near the Wi-Fi. It's a Wi-Fi station. Another petri dish in another room, the Bluetooth on, on your phone. Third one, near the TV or something. And fourth one, where you offer prayers or you are in a contemplative session or you are sitting quietly in your, in your room, that quiet room, I would say. And every day you take the photographs of the sprouts growing. Children will be surprised and shocked what Wi-Fi can do, what Bluetooth can do. There will be stunted growth. Not only stunted growth, but the whole thing will become yellow. So when they see the danger of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, they will understand, I should not play with it. Use it when you need it. The second experiment. This was ex accidental finding. I was once visiting an uh, institute, they were on a cutting edge of technology, you see, and uh, they were partnering with some Russian scientists in India instead of Kerala. And one of the study was to study the behavior of red blood cells, how they colonize under different disease states. For example, if you have a sickle cell anemia, the RBC will form a particular style of colony. Their distribution will form a particular shape. Yes. Okay. If you have viral infection, another shape will be formed. If you have fungal infection, you have that particular. If you have, I mean, it is all disease based and they have collated the shapes or the colonies formed by the RBCs and the disease state. It's a beautiful research. At that time, when he was analyzing my blood sample, after it was almost after half an hour or so, I said, what about white blood cells? He said, white blood cells are, have, have gone immobile, they are not moving now. They, they said, they are almost dead because we spent almost half an hour. Okay, I said, why don't you put the phone? Activate your phone and put it near the microscope which was connected to the computer screen. So moment he puts the phone near the blood slide, I see the movement of white blood cells, as if they were sleeping and now they woke up. So it felt the threat of the presence of something they are not connected with. But the field created by this phone it was so threatening, they woke up. They frantically moving around, but not finding anything except radiation or the electromagnetic field that it created. It is scary.
and now when you move from 1G to 2G to 3G to 5G, I think it's it becoming a million times more and more potent. I think we have a tendency to mutate and adapt. So hopefully, hopefully we'll adapt, perhaps who knows. Thank you.